people welcome back to my youtube channel elliot wave principle i'm your host shaheen uh, we are going to continue our analysis into gold and silver and see where things are expected to go um, first of all the price structure that i'm expecting is uh, pretty simple um, and that starts with the bottom right over here at this one and that was in october 2022 and i believe that we have seen wave one and two completed and right now we are going an extended wave three within wave three we have only completed wave one of three and wave two of three is very short i believe that we have already completed wave two and now we are getting ready for the prices to another move up that should complete wave three four and five and this shall continue hopefully for another uh, year plus or so so a year three months expectedly i'm expecting from the uh, from that we have at least another 15 more months of the price um, going in the bullish direction we have a lot of uh, bearish uh, price action in some of the stocks mining stocks we'll discuss that as well so let's first of all uh, look at the smaller structure what's happening on a smaller time frame within the wave one of three i believe that we have completed wave one and wave two and wave three and wave four a triangle and wave five uh, i believe that the correction that we are seeing is a completion of wave two uh, of three so uh, it's very the reason i'm going to give you the why i'm expecting that this reason and the reason is that we have seen the prices go up and we have seen the correctional structure rise close to the top so this is an indication that we have seen the completion is very small as compared to the whole impulsive wave and that does happen time to time so we look at um four hourly chart and see how things are going in here so this is the structure that i'm talking about that the smaller wave impulsive wave we have clearly five wave structure on a smaller time frame right and then we have seen a correction pattern right falling after that so the correction pattern is still going on i'll look into it and i'll let you know what i'm thinking and as soon as that is complete we're expecting for the price to go uh, bullish let's have a look at the structure further below and on hourly time frame we can look at the structure this structure i'm talking about that the completion of a side wave structure just above the previous correction uh, either close to the top of it or just past it and then uh, a structure above it is very important indication that we have completed the previous structure which is wave two all right once again it's very small um, as compared to the previous impulse wave but that does happen from time to time so we need to understand the degree rightly we are just uh, probably a couple of days um, behind the major uh, move expected to go upward the structure that we have in front of here is a side wave structure you can call it a double three structure or a flat correction followed by a zigzag in the middle and another zigzag in the bottom so i'm expecting that we are going to see the price a bit pull back right over here let me go this one i'm expecting the price is expecting to drop this one somewhere around uh, i would say a bit lower somewhere around uh, 2465 ish and from over here we are expecting the bounce back above and that the bounce above would confirm that the structure is complete all right but i'm expecting for a next day or two uh, for prices to come down and once again when prices come down we can go long in gold and we'll expect for the prices uh, to follow that the stop loss does not get caught in a while in a good while and you can put the stop loss right over here at 2362 so it's about hundred dollar uh, away from it and remember we are looking for um, about 15 months of bullish market ahead of us um, so it's a longer market and we therefore the labeling is very important this is wave two of three all right we, we are expect, uh, we're expecting the third wave being extended and wave two of three is completed therefore we'll put our stop loss right over here and then we don't expect the stop loss to get caught all we can do is we can keep on adding into our bullish position and that's how we can trade the bullish market in the in in for gold uh, we'll have a look at uh, silver and probably lots of people are worried about small mining stocks we have not seen the strength that we normally see in the mining stocks and we'll look into it in a bit so silver uh, i can come back in a four hourly time frame i wanted to make a comment on it 
so we were expecting that the price would actually fall further down all the way but it's not happening given the structure that we have in that means that we are expecting another pullback right over here and once that pullback is complete there's a possibility once again for the prices to make another bottom right over here that will make three bottoms one this one this one over here and this one there's also possibility of a higher bottom if that happens we are still expecting for the prices to go on the bullish way so i'm bullish just for next couple of days i'm expecting for the prices to drop a bit and after that we'll definitely turn into bullish and we can do use daily time frame to see what we are expecting in terms of price pattern on the longer frame once again we are expecting that wave one is complete right over here this red one and wave two is complete and we're expecting a, an extended third wave within the third wave we have completed wave one of three and which is wave sub wave one and two and three and four and five and you know we have a bit of overlap in it just hardly any but if it is you can consider it as the leading diagonal and once again if you look at it we jumped uh, just above uh, the previous fourth wave structure right over here so either wave two is complete at this point or we are going to probably come down and complete but this is a very important support zone i'm not expecting for the prices to go further deep down over here when the prices come down for next couple of days or in a day we can definitely use the previous low which is right over here 22 and then we can expect the prices to go long and this stop loss will not be caught this is once again a bullish price behavior and once again approximately another 15 months of bullish price action and we got to understand that silver is only getting ready we have seen wave one and two and wave one and two so we have only seen part of um, we have not seen the real strength that we are expecting. I'm expecting that th within this bullish run, price is definitely uh, going to cross $100, somewhere around $105. No, but we don't have, have enough data right now to be accurate with the price target or give a good estimate at least. So $100 is definitely our first target uh, for the bullish run in the silver. This uh, correction is definitely a good indication because prices went all the way to $32 and then we are right now sitting at $28. So quite a good chance to go long. Just give me a moment. So once again, we are going to wait for another day or two. Let me have a look and we can come down on hourly chart and it will show us what we are looking for. So we are looking uh, for... this price action okay you're looking for this price action and as soon as this is complete we can go long in on the upside please do not use this low there's a possibility we might can we can actually see a double bottom so please do not use this low to go long uh, keep an eye that you want to stay in the market for a longer period of time so use an, a higher time frame low which is four hours you can go on a higher time frame low and which would be the nearest one with this one it's not a good idea still uh, and i think if you want to go this one this should be a bit risky but this one definitely is a good position to go long okay let's have a look at um, gdx okay and see where gdx is expected so the side wave this is for seniors i was expecting that we probably will pull back a bit deeper but my analysis now tells me that we have already seen the correction. So the side wave correction is a flat correction. Price is going up and coming down. We have already seen wave two. A little bit of pullback is expected and then we can expect for the sharper move on the upside in GDX. Uh, GDX has only completed wave one uh, right over here and wave two is complete. So we're expecting a lot to go into data. Uh, well, let's have a look. I think we have correct labeling for it. So if you want to use an excellent labeling, then this is once again wave one and this is wave two and we are only in extended wave, wave three. We have only completed wave one and wave two of an extended wave. So a lot of price section has, is, is left in GDX. Do not worry, we have strong um, um, bullish behavior coming in GDX that will definitely bring the miners, the small time frame miners as well up. So this is juniors, we can look into juniors and almost a similar behavior so once again we have a swing on the upside and we have a correction and then we have either you can say correction handed over here or over here over here makes more sense we have an impulsive wave and a correction okay 
So we're ready for another. This is once again wave one and wave two, subwave one of three, subwave two of three, and then this is once again telling us that we are waiting for an extended third wave, and that should take the prices way up in this that we'll be very confident so if you are holding into gold and silver stocks don't worry the price action maybe we're just another day or two more late and then we'll see interesting price action that will take the prices high up i hope that this was of some help wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye